Hey guys, you're Marta Geek. In this video, I wanted to share my Black Friday game purchases that I did this year, with the exception of this over here, which was not a Black Friday purchase, but was actually sent to me so I can try it out and make a video for you guys. So I'm just going to show you guys this uh, grip case that is actually for the Nintendo Switch. But before that, let's go and show you guys some of the games that I did purchase this week. I am also going to share with you guys a little bit of gameplay while I'm talking about those games. Like, for example, the first game that I purchased this week was Batman The Enemy Within. This is the Telltale series game. Uh, right now, this is the second part and the last part of the series. There's two series, season one and season two. This is season two, which is one of my favorite seasons of the Batman series. Uh, sadly, this was the last series. Of course, we all know what happened to Telltale. Um, but this is an awesome game and I decided to go ahead and purchase it because the price of it was $3.74 or 75 cents on the eShop store and right now I think you can still purchase it at that price and you can also purchase the first season for the same price so you could technically buy both seasons which I think is 10 episodes per season or five episodes per season and it is a steal it is a steal because you're paying 375 for season one 375 for season two that's less than ten dollars for a lot of gaming and a very awesome story so honestly if you didn't play this series and you like batman i totally recommend to buy it because it's very very cheap right now 375 I just couldn't skip on this. I just couldn't skip on this and I had to get it. And I decided to get just the second one because like I said, the second one was my favorite season. So I decided to go ahead the second one and I already tried it and like you saw in the video, the gameplay actually looks pretty good on the Nintendo Switch. And of course, the other game that I purchased yesterday right after the Cowboys football game was Ukulele, the impossible and the impossible layer this game was actually super cheap when i saw the price on this on amazon on best buy and on even the eShop store i was surprised that this game was actually available for nine dollars and 99 cents at gamestop so i decided to go ahead and pick it up and so far i am liking it like you see on the video the gameplay actually looks pretty cool this time around is very different from the other ukulele game that came out a couple years ago which i purchased and it's really cool it's like a dungeon crawler game and it also turns into a, a platforming game which is really 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 damn nice so yes this game i actually got it for 9.99 and i think it's totally worth it so if it's still available i would definitely pick it up um the other game that i picked up which wow I haven't been able to stop playing it since I picked it up and tried it, put it on the PlayStation 4, installed it. Oh my God, Concrete Genie. It's available everywhere right now for like around $20. I was hoping I could get it a little bit cheaper, but everybody has it for $20. So normally it goes for around $30, but wow, what a beautiful game. This has a beautiful story, very unique gameplay and a very, very, very nice graphics. Um, it looks really good, really good. And of course, it's also compatible with PlayStation VR. Um, and some people at the store, I, somebody was asking for some for uh, an employee if this was a PlayStation VR game. And yeah, they were saying, yes, it's only a PlayStation VR game, it says it in the box. When you see the box, people can actually get confused because it does look like it says PlayStation VR Concrete Genie. Um, you know this right here people don't see that it says mode included so it actually when people see it and see this as well people think that this is a playstation vr game especially people that don't know what type of game is this so no yes you can play this with um normal playstation 4 no vr and it looks gorgeous so I haven't stopped playing it, and I'm going to keep playing it. It looks beautiful. And let me know in the comments if you want to see some gameplay, which I think I'm going to actually share some gameplay of some of these games that I'm doing here. Um, the other one that I picked up today, which I thought I was not going to pick up another game, was Sekiro Shadow Die Twice. Uh, this is one of the cool reasons why I like Black Friday, because Black Friday, I usually pick up games 
that I skipped during the year, but were actually very good that actually got a lot of good reviews. I just came back from purchasing it and I definitely put it right away on the PlayStation 4 because I wanted to record a little bit of tiny gameplay for this video that you see here on the video. And it looks really damn good and it plays so far pretty damn cool. I like the kill so far. It is very, very gory. And it is, of course, one of those soul like type of games, but I don't think this is going to be as hard as the other soul games. But after playing Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, I want to play a little bit more of that type of gaming, you know, like um, evading and slicing and evading and slicing and blocking and all that so i decided to go ahead and pick it up because like i said it had good reviews during the year and a lot of people were actually recommending this game to me and i did want to buy it but i don't know I, I was just not into these type of game it was not in the mood to play these type of game but right now since it's the last month of the year december and january is kind of slow when it comes to gaming so i think this is a perfect game to play during december and january um, until we get the great games that are coming up on 2020. So yes, I purchased Sekiro Die twice for $25 at Target. Um, this game was almost everywhere for $28 or $30. And I think the cheapest places was at GameStop, no, um, Best Buy and Target, $25. Not bad. So I decided to pick it up. And one thing right here, which is not a Black Friday purchase, I just got this this week, or I think it was last week, um, is a grip case for the Nintendo Switch Lite. And I decided to go ahead and share with you guys right now in this video, because most likely a lot of people just purchase a Nintendo Switch and you want to protect it, but maybe you don't want to get a big, huge case for it. And this right here is perfect because it does add grips to it. It makes it a little bit more comfortable to hold the Nintendo Switch and it fits perfectly here. Look at this here. It's going to put like there, like that, and just like that. It fits just perfect. Uh, you could get this from Amazon. I think the brand is a Mumba. You could get it from Amazon and it comes in two color. It comes in black and it comes in like a blue Zion color, like this one, like this color. Kind of sad that they sent me the black one. It would have been nice to get the blue one. I think it would have been fit better with this console. But they sent me the black color. I don't like the way it looks with this console. For me, the blue color would have been better. But it feels really good, especially if you have problems playing with small consoles. Oh, this is going to give you a lot better grip and it's also going to protect the back. It has all the ventilation ports that you see there. And um, you can also fit it on a normal Nintendo Switch case because right now I haven't purchased a, a, a light case for the Switch because I just have a whole bunch of Nintendo Switch cases. And I'm like, you know what? It fits on a normal case, so why bother buy a, a small case? And like you see there, I like that it fits on the case like the Nintendo Switch cases with the grip in it on it and it just works pretty damn good especially when you're playing any game any game whatsoever here on the Nintendo Switch Lite so uh, this might be a case that you want to get for the Nintendo Switch it's very cheap I think it's around $17 and it come in like I said comes in black and it comes in blue which is this type of blue so guys that's it for this video these are the things that i purchased on black friday like you see it wasn't that much gaming stuff that i purchased but it's kind of hard especially for me because during the year i buy a lot of games with my own money or sometimes i get free codes for some of the games i just have a couple games to choose from when i'm gonna choose a game to purchase on black friday so um besides this one i was actually gonna purchase need for speed heat but i think it was kind of expensive everywhere was available for 39.99 i think the cheapest place was at target for 35 dollars but you know it was between this one or 35 dollars for needs for speed so i decided to go ahead and get sekiro so guys thanks for watching this video let me know what games did you purchase on black friday if you didn't purchase any game whatsoever let me know what did you purchase a cell phone a tablet what did you purchase but right now so far today's friday it's still friday and during the whole weekend we're still gonna have a lot of these sales available till cyber monday most likely like i said if you haven't choose this game and you can get it for 9.99 i honestly i would pick it up especially if you like platforming game 
this game looks really damn good. And this game, oh my. I won't stop playing it until I finish it. It looks just gorgeous on the PlayStation 4. And so far, this game looks good. But I'm going to start playing this game again once I finish this one. So, yeah. Guys, thanks for watching this video. Till next time. Bye-bye.